Hey guys, welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays, and welcome to the next episode of The Stanley Parable. The last episode of this series was so completely dark, I mean, we hadn't really died at all up until that point. And that's quite a way into the series to happen, and to happen a lot in one go. That was very strange, I just was not expecting death in this game. <laughs> but I think we're winding down with this game now, I mean... All I can think of at this point in time is one twist that I've not made yet, and that was to get to the very end of listening to everything the narrator says to do, and then to turn the machine on rather than off, to start the whole mind control machine thing. I don't know what that will do, but unless I'm forgetting something, I think that's the last thing to do. So I'm going to jump back into the game and do that. Watch everything go to hell when that happens. <laughs> I kind of hope it does. I don't know. <laughs> There's a brilliant thing about this game. I don't know what to expect, so let's do this. Okie dokie, smoky bear. We are back with the Stanley Parable, and I think, I would hope, this is the last episode of this series, because I don't think there are very, very many extra choices we can make in this game. <laughs> if you've seen the last few episodes of this, this game... This is the story. I'll skip that again. Um, there, I, the whole game has just been one massive load of madness, really, isn't it? <laughs> So, it, it's blowing my mind bit by bit. So, from what I can remember, in this game, we have only one more twist to make. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. <laughs> was it a sign of something? Let's have a look. He hoped it was. So, if you've he not watched any of this series before, this is going to make no sense to you. But, long story short, we've woken up in this office that we've worked at for years and years. All of our colleagues are gone, and the narrator is telling us what we did, or what we're going to do, rather. Okay, let's have a look. And so far, I've made nothing but wrong choices. When Hang on. Stanley came to a set of two Let's open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now, that way is the right way, and it leads to the button at the end that I want to press as on. Which is against what the narrator tells. The very last decision you make, you press on, we see what happens. Because we turned it off in the first episode. Although this way, there was a phone I didn't answer. Oh, let's do that. This was not the correct way to the meeting was room, not. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. There was well. a phone, wasn't Perhaps there? Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee my, lounge my first, just to admire it. No. Well, I have to do that, yeah. Standing now in this incredible room, mm. Stanley for yes. the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, <laughs> and he felt sad, yeah, but eager to get back to we business. very eager. Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Piss off. <laughs> Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Blah blah blah. Come on. It wasn't five years ago. Mean. Here we go. So the phone was up there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, I do see one if I can jump off as well. Hey! Oh God, I can! <gasps> but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good Oops. job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very ten powerful. Out of ten. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could do that. That wasn't really the part of the plan, so... Whoops! So I'm just going to cut here and go back to where I was, because nobody wants to see this again. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we are back here. So this time, I'm not going to jump off the cliff. I am going to go here. One of the bodies down Look, there. Stanley, I think nah. perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. So I've been down there already. I'm not your enemy. I'm quite happy with how well I'm I doing in this. I'm, I mean, there might be hundreds of different endings I'm missing, but... But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. It's a fantastic game. This is, you want to call it a game. <laughs> Stanley, someone you've forgotten about. My Please, wife. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Right, here we go. So, this last it, time I went your in here... chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. And to let here. her back into your life. She's been waiting. And then there's a phone. Oh! There he is. Right, last Thanks time I unplugged the phone. I literally went to be the one Plop. to do this. This time to I'm gonna answer and see. What if happens. you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. Hello. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, Stanley, is that you? <gasps> uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Okay. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Your day. <laughs> oh, hello, honey. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? 
They'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Why is the narrator such a cunt? Ha! <laughs> what a dick! I'm gonna go this way. Sorry, oh, but you're in my story now. Ooh. All right, I'm listening to you. Hello, lovely wife. This is a I very mean... sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, I don't want to die again. Oh, good morning, employee forty-seven. Press zero on your keyboard. I kind of have to, so. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I'm going to press something else. Two. Look at him. Makes there, me press out. buttons. Dick. Doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. You're so mean. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Yes, I can. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, Wait. he imagined that one day while at work, there was a TV. He it's a clock now. Desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Yeah. The thought excited him terribly. Really? Press F to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It but, um, barely this is even hurting my brain. What lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press G to prepare dinner. As he wandered oh. through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Why is it all turning into an Down office? Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Oh, this makes Down my brain another hurt. was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it it's the a bloody... Stanley Parable. It's a bloody good job I've done all this already, really, isn't it? Because otherwise it'd be a massive spoiler. Uh, I have kids. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Oh, over don't. And over. This is really Wishing fucking with my mind. That it would never end. Fucking? That he might always fucking? feel this freedom. Oh my god, I'm, I'm going crazy. Surely there's an answer <laughs> down some new path. Mustn't there be? I don't Perhaps know. I just... Play just one more time. I don't want to. I, I, I love you, wife. But there oh. is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, desk. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Oh god, Nothing damn it. Nothing's changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. Uh, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh god. Go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Uh, but he won't listen to me. Uh, he won't stop. I'm here, sorry. watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh god, what do I do? Do I listen to him or do I listen to the thing on the screen? Um. Oh god. No. Yes, no. No, yes. 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 You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I don't know! Oh. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same yeah. as Stanley. I don't like this not so different, I suppose. <laughs> I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Okay. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. <gasps> and Stanley pushed a button. No. And I tried again. 
and Stanley pushed a button, and I tried. What the actual f- oh. What? Hang on, hang a fluff on, this is no. This is no. All of his co-workers were gone. Why what did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hang on, look at this all. This is nah, hang the fluff on. This is different. Hold on. Why are all the papers on the floor and they stop? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is this the same bit, or is this still part of the whole ending? I don't know. This is weird. Why are there fits on the floor? All right. Well, I wanted to push the button on it. What have I not done? Oh God, I can't remember. There was other things I needed to do, wasn't there? What could I have done? Uh, well, hold on. Uh, hold on. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just Hang to admire on. it. Something else the I can do. Was there is definitely majestic. something else I can do. Perhaps too majestic. Like a combination. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, it's bugging the hell out of me. There was something, there was definitely nothing in there because that was just mean. That that well, I haven't gone through that part of the end there, but I'm pretty sure it just takes you back to the start. So let's not do that. Um, here, hang Stanley on. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I'm gonna do. I, I know what I'm gonna do. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've got the door. On the that bloody that was it. Here. Right. Hang I'm on. Give me a sec. Really, I'm not. It was right I at the back of my brain. Something was irritating me. There's a blue and a red door. I've difficult. not gone through the. But the fact is that the story blue has been about nothing door. Red door. you all this time. Hang on. There's someone you've been Hang neglecting, on. Stanley. Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! What? Really? Yes. I was in the right. middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I Are you that convinced not. that I want something bad to happen to you? I Why? Am. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to okay. show you something beautiful. Okay. Look, let me prove it. Right. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Last time I went chance. to the blue door about four, now, three carefully. or four times. This is Something important. Like that. We're gonna let you do Stanley what he says. Walked through the red door. Okay. Oh, thank God you are ah. willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. I see that we're back into a loop. It's killing us, Stanley. I just, I want it to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh. In for a penny, in for a pound. Whip. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, it's cool. beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley. I think I feel. I've not seen happy. this. I, I feel actually happy. feel happy. Me too. <laughs> I'm bored now. Ha! <laughs> okay. No. Oh. Wait. Where are you going? Oh, it's not as fun, is it? Oh, right. look! Where were we? I don't know what to do. Do I just do I stand here and I mean it's pretty, but I don't, I don't know what's happening. Okay. I, oh. Okay. Oh, very pretty, but I mean, let's go this way. Oh, this isn't pretty, is it? Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. 
We'll lose all of this. Oh, you know, people have died in this game many times before. Let's do it again. I've not seen any of this yet. Get rid of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh. Wait, what? Is that. What? Is that actually a joke? Am I meant to just chuck. Is this seriously what I'm meant to do? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. I mean. I don't know what to do. Do I just do it? Um. I'm waiting for the narrator to say something else, just in case. Whoop! No! Oh. oh. Thank God. My poor you legs. Lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No. <laughs> I mean... No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back oh. to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Oh. 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 Come the fuck on. Oh. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I don't know what to do. Do I just keep doing it? <laughs> My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? No, I love your game. You're willing to kill yourself to keep me from being I just want to see what happens. the situation correct? No! I just want to see what happens. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. Oh. I don't know anymore. Oh. I just wanted us to get along. Oh! I guess that was too much to ask. Oh, now I feel it like it's like you wanted to make a choice after all. It's like a dick well, now. This one is yours. <gasps> okay, I'll go. Oh no, no, I know what to do. Gambling. One more time. One more time. Are you going to do this? And I have no idea what to expect, but we're going to do it. Whee! Ah. Oh! Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh! I feel like a dick now. Oh, we did it though. <laughs> oh God, what an asshole I am. Okay. <laughs> so, very last time. Okay, we're going to do this. The very last thing I can think of to do in this game is to shut the whole thing All of his on. Not off. I didn't say off then. We're going to turn Stanley the whole system off. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. Let's do it. Yeah, at the very end of the first episode, I did everything it said, and I got to the very end, and it said, do you want to turn off... No, you need when to turn Stanley off the system. When a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And I'm going to do it. Except I'm not. My brain isn't working anymore. This is Yet really... there was not a single person here either. Feeling mm. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office Hoping he might find an answer there. God damn it, this is proper questioning my entire life. Oh, hello! That didn't open before, did it? Did I try? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing hmm. here, so he turned around and got back on track. No! Ha! <laughs> there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Well, now obviously I'm going to just stay here. I'm in a closet! It was baffling <laughs> that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> sweet F.A., I love it. But, like, you're talking to me, so... I feel justified. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? I am. Standing around doing nothing? Why? It's nice. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I mean Now what? There's you no real end game to this, is there? Or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. 
but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Should I just go then? I, d I don't know now. I mean, I've, I've, I'm in too deep here. Huh. Giggity. Huh. I'm genuine. To you, this is somehow I, I don't know. own branching path. Maybe when is you it? go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Son I hope bitch. your friends find this concerning. I'm really confused. Is that. Um... Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. You dick! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. What a that dick! All with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. You absolute dick! Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. What? You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Really? Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Oh dear. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or I she mean, has fallen prey to it? any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's indicative of the long-term sustainability of indicative your species. Already. Please remove their corpse from the area I... and instruct another Jesus human Christ. to take their place at the computer. All right, I get the bloody point. Basic first person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. You absolute dick. Right. Fine. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Fine. Ah, second player. Dick. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any work. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked Dick. upstairs to his boss's office. Come on. We're going to do this. I'm going to shut the whole thing on. I'll keep saying shut off. I don't know why. I'm going crazy. This game is melting my brain. I'm going to turn the whole thing on and hopefully office, bring back Stanley all our colleagues. In his tracks. Not a living soul. Oh, this is the third time we've done this now. Isn't it two, Could four, really seven. Be all alone? This was too One? much for Stanley remember. to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for what? nearly a full hour. What? But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the <laughs> boss's desk. This is new. What right. could it mean? Come on. Was it a sign Two. of hope for Stanley's future? Four. Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and Come so on. random Son that of a bitch. no man He's been could a dick ever now, hope to guess it. Stayed in the closet. Two eight four oh. five. Statistically, two, two, nearly impossible two, to guess eight, blindly four, ever. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code Ooh. by sheer luck. Yes. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passage. Do this. Bloop. Oh. Okay. For the very last time in this entire series, we're gonna press the button, turn it on, and hope the whole place doesn't just fall apart. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what this wasn't it a brain control machine. We're going to control people's minds, even though there's no one in the office Stanley anymore. Stanley walked than straight me. ahead through the large door that read no, "Mind that that Control work. Facility." Okay, here we go. Ready? And push. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Yeah, Mum. Did he have the strength to find out? I do. I really do. Oh, it feels like the whole game's been leading up to this. I'm glad I saved this to the last point. Eh. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Look, we've been up Stanley's there before. This is really funny. The lives of so many Twice individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place yeah. where freedom meant nothing. Okay, and... Bloop. 
This mind control facility. I'm looking down, I can see more, but I can't yet. Couldn't be <laughs> true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Oh, is that, that his looking down? Had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Maybe. Or I'm either dreaming, or I'm no, dead, or there's a million other twists it. in here somewhere. He I don't know. My brain's melting. It. It's actually melting. Life in someone else's control, never. Ooh. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? I'm a Is it even possible? It's without Had he fathom. truly <laughs> spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. Okay, here we go. Right. Here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Ooh, I'm not there yet. Happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very oh, place so up there. and as the cold reality of his past There's began to sink in stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life okay. for he would dismantle the controls once and for all here we go oh there's a button Didn't do anything. Wait. That's weird. Okay. Let's do this. Waiting input. So who's it going to control, though? Right, so we turned it off last when time. When at last he found the source Turn of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, Click. to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Nope. Oh, Stanley. You didn't oh. just activate the controls, did you? Yes. After they kept you I enslaved did. all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Wait, what? If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating what? the entire complex. What? How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, three two minutes. minutes. Fuck off. Two ah, minutes. Oh, hello. Oh, oh far, fuck off. It, Look at that. It's your time to shine. And do you what? You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desire. I have two minutes to do what? Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until Wait, the what? bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk what? about you. About me. I'm so where we're going. Oh God, I don't get it. I barely know where to start. What did I? What's do that? that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Oh my God, oh, what do you do? I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. <gasps> I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Like what? I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then what? dying alone. No! Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Oh my god, you absolute this, dick! This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything Green. and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost no. hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. But there isn't gonna be. My goodness, oh, only look. 34 seconds left. No. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, come on. I don't get it. Me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed oh. to be doing right now? No, I don't. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Well, yeah. Look at you. Okay, well, free. Right, there's a free on the screen. Let's press free. Screen to screen, clicking One, on every two. little thing in this room. These numbers. Dick. Buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. 
or this door. Everything, it's anything, five. Where's something free? here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? I don't that know. This video game can be beaten, one solved. Do you have any free. idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, I pressed the button. You're in for quite a disappointment. Oh. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To what see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. I mean, I, can I could have tried one, two, three, that's four, but somehow I don't think that's going to work. Destroy. 30 seconds until a big boom. Oh. No ending. Oh my god. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Oh, it doesn't do anything. It's all the same to me. It, makes, it doesn't make happy sounds. It makes bad and sounds. Me, I oh god. Oh god. Second of your <gasps> life from the moment oh god. Oh god. Until the moment I <gasps> say ever up. Is that it? Am I dead? Shit. Ooh. Well, I think I've come to the profound realization that I'm in hell. <laughs> I think that that is it. I think that is the game. Son of a bitch! I mean, I'm sure there are other endings to this. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, but I think I'm officially done now. I think I've done every single ending I want to because this game is a dick. <laughs> it's an absolute dick oh my god I, I think that's the point i think the, the narrator is obviously in control of everything we do we're not in heaven or hell we might be asleep i don't know if we're in a coma i don't bloody know i think the point is we're in hell and they're just gonna restart our life over and over again until uh, god knows they're just gonna watch us squirm bloody hell all right well all that aside this is a fantastic fantastic bloody game isn't it it's so unlike anything i've ever seen before i mean the whole game itself is literally making decisions that are wrong <laughs> just bloody hell it's weird and wonderful I, I don't know i don't know how to describe it either way i had so much bloody fun playing it so i hope you guys enjoyed this series uh please do let me know of any other endings in the comments below because i would like to know what else i possibly could have missed Either way, I'm quite happy with the progress I made, so I don't know if I'll play another part of this because I think I've got most of it done, but you guys will let me know in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Until the next video, awesome bloody possum! Bye, Fluffies!